Jay McCullough reporting live from the kitchen. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. It is donut season. Always we're under threat of unexpected donuts here. Uh, this is a jelly donut uh, from Duga Donuts. Um, this was a, a, a special pickup today at, at 5 p.m. outside of a pulley of pizza. Uh, I didn't know what was going on there. Very strange. Um, probably I get the most annoying customer award. I'll, I'll just say that. But uh, Cynthia tells me this is a donut that you need to have. These were warm when they came out. Um, Emily just, just wheeled the carts over. Uh, so hot off the presses here. Um, this, this, uh, despite being cracked, um, this, this old Rubbermaid, uh, tell them that and they'll send you a new one, which we're using for something else, but I, I couldn't bear with this, throw this away. Uh, so the, the powdered sugar was nice and fresh. Uh, it got a little bit of moisture, uh, in there as I was carrying this back. I'll drop some off to a night. Oh, so good. So good. Um, this episode is going to start start strong and end, end on a low note. We've got cornbread in the toaster oven, and I just followed the instructions on the cornmeal. And not nearly enough butter. Not nearly enough butter. Uh, a little crispy there. Just here. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, it sizzles. Remember, you don't sell the steak, you sell the sizzle. Uh, so this obviously needs... It was not a cornbread. I was I was in Acme, saw Famous Dave's cornbread on the. We just happened to have cornbread in the in the pantry. We wanted to make this with some leftover chili, and uh, <clears throat> there are some other cornbread recipes where the number one ingredient is sugar, by volume. And uh, that is not this. I'll tell you that much. Um, this did not have a lot of uh, fat or sugar in it. I'll say a quarter cup to two cups, uh, half one cup of flour and one cup of uh, cornmeal. This is, what am I doing here? This is not melting fast enough. Uh, what I'm trying to save here is see if this dry, dry, dry cornbread could be resuscitated with some butter. And I honestly don't think it can. A butter definitely helps though. So love for the camera room. Are we getting a smile? We're getting a, it's too hot. That's what we're getting. Mm. The butter definitely helps. I'm just gonna end on this donut. And uh, we've got one more. We've got two going to Yuri and Arena. Two for a night as well. Maybe some sweet potato parathas. Homemade parathas just really not as flaky as you get when they're loaded them full of ghee at the Indian restaurants. You have to remember that when you're getting homemade parathas, they are probably just a little bit more butter than roti but I've never had a really oily paratha. Maybe, and then I guess chapatis are more like roti as well, but. Jim McCall with a jelly donut and a silent camera woman on some really dry cornbread. Reporting live from the kitchen. Bye-bye.